You wait 10 days for a Mavic Mini to come along and two get delivered on the same day. Mavic Mini is going to be an incredibly popular drone, I think, especially for people uh, looking to get their first drone. They'll be weighing up the Mavic Air versus the Mavic Mini. So obviously it's half the price, half the weight. Uh, so I thought today I'd actually have a quick look at how they've actually cut that weight down, how they've cut that cost down, and what you're exactly getting for your uh, dollar, pound, or euro. So, like I said, I ended up getting the Mavic uh, Mini Combo. Uh, I also got the uh, standard Mavic Mini. Um, I have to say thanks to HeliGuy for getting the order dispatched so quickly. Um, this morning, just going to go through very quickly what you actually get with the Final Combo. You've probably seen it 100 times before, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. So as every video you've already seen on this will tell you, obviously it is tiny, it is incredibly light. It is basically uh, the same footprint as the remote control now as well. Um, I remember the line in Jurassic Park, uh, is it heavy? Yes, then it's expensive. Uh, which would imply this is incredibly cheap because um, it is uh, crazy light, it really is. I'm not silly. I, I understand they had to try and make uh, weight savings, but in doing so, what they've actually ended up with is a drone that is incredibly light and flimsy. You can see the, uh, the legs uh, will twist very easily. The motors twist very easily. The uh, blades are so thin. I can imagine the moment you hit a tree or anything, you'll be replacing uh, the blades. Uh, no simple um, twist and push. The blades have to be screwed on with a tiny little screwdriver that they've actually given you. Other things that um, are perhaps a little bit disappointing, the uh, micro SD card and the USB-C uh, are exposed. Uh, so uh, you definitely don't want to be flying this in the rain at all, in my opinion. The legs as well are actually uh, foam filled. So here you can feel a little bit of foam. So in actual fact, instead of just being a, uh, a, a, a hollow shell, um, it's actually a three-sided uh, leg, which again, I think is uh, taking away some of the strength and stability. So here's the um, Mavic Air's remote control. This is the Mavic Mini's remote control. You've lost some of the buttons. You no longer have customizable button uh, anywhere at all. You simply have the record and uh, photo button. Uh, but otherwise, the, uh, certainly the weight is pretty similar, the dimensions are pretty similar, and the functionality folding out with the uh, hidden uh, sticks that uh, screw straight in is exactly the same as the Mavic Air. So um, another significant change is the charging unit. The charging brick looks like uh, one you get with a mobile phone, you get the micro USB. Uh, unlike all the other drones, uh, with the Mavic Mini, you can charge uh, the battery within uh, you simply plug the charging cable into the micro USB and the battery will charge up inside the drone. Uh, in fact, if you get the standard uh, Mavic Mini, not the Combo, that is your only way of charging the batteries up. If you do get the Fly More Combo, then you do get this little charging hub uh, where you can slot the batteries in and it will charge the batteries up in sequence, starting with the most charged battery first and, uh, and then going along, uh, as I said, in sequence. So here we go, uh, stop raining at last. I have updated the firmware. Uh, I haven't actually uh, switched it on outside for a flight yet. So this will be the very first flight I do with it. Uh, just kind of like a bit of fun to see how it handles and uh, compares to the Mavic Air and the 2 Pro that I also have. So the new app is quite different to what I'm uh, used to. It's obviously a scaled down version of the Go4 app. Uh, it's probably gonna have all the stuff we need. If we tap the right top right corner, it tells us the temperature of the battery, flight time remaining. It's showing us the uh, number of satellites and the signal strength. Okay, without further ado, let's, uh, here we are filming. All right, let's go.
well, very steady, it has to be said. So if you let go of the sticks, it just sits there doing its thing, waiting. If you try and push it. So the GPS lock is working fine. Let's have a quick look at the uh, app. Camera. 16.9 please, that's how I like it. Advanced settings, what can I do? I had one of the subscribers uh, asking whether or not you can swap the uh, stick controls. Yes, you can, you've got the stick modes. Um, it uh, defaults to mode two, which is gonna be uh, left stick going up, down, left, right. So when you first start it up, it actually defaults to uh, staying in a tutorial mode where the controls are a lot slower and uh, the speed is slowed down as well. Uh, it's limited to a maximum distance of 30 meters or around 100 feet and the same with the altitude. If you actually try and push it beyond those 30 meters, then it offers to take you out of tutorial mode and then it starts responding uh, more in the way that I'm used to with the Mavic Air, uh, certainly uh, up, down and uh, He's not as sluggish as he was in tutorial mode. So that's certainly a good thing because uh, for many people this will be their very first drone. So uh, I quite like the fact that it uh, defaults into uh, tutorial mode just to slow things down for you. I have to say uh, my initial thoughts are it's incredibly uh, uh, responsive. The GPS as you can see is locked perfectly. We haven't got much wind going on today but um, there it is just sitting rock steady. To try and push it. Oh, okay. So it has got some sensors. So not doing anything on the sticks there. He uh, bounces up, so um, it's obviously got a bit of landing protection going on. But around the front, nothing at all. So no other collision avoidance sensors whatsoever. He is a lot quieter than I expected. Right, let's uh, take him on a bit of a flight over to the trees. Whoa! Okay, I hit my first twig. My thoughts of the video are that the colours do look a little bit washed out. Um, I'm not exactly getting a glorious autumn golden colour screaming out at me. Maybe I'll need to tidy that up a little bit in uh, post. So one thing I've uh, noticed, doesn't seem to have any manual controls for the joysticks. Uh, that means you won't be able to adjust them in any way to smooth things out. Uh, a lot of you will have seen my smooth camera settings video and uh, that goes through, just waiting for a tractor to go past. Uh, that goes through a lot of the settings you can adjust in order to smooth the gimbal movement and the joysticks. Uh, you haven't got any of those controls on the uh, Fly app. But what you do have is a Mode P, which is a standard, Mode S, which is Sports Mode, and Mode C, which is Cine Smooth. And those three modes uh, do swap not only the speed of the drone itself, uh, but also the sensitiv sensitivity of the controls. So if you are trying to do some uh, fairly smooth, uh, well, let's, uh, let's show you. In Cine mode, it's very similar to tripod mode if you're uh, used to the Mavic Air. Uh, the only difference though is that it does travel faster than tripod mode. So with, uh, in Cine smooth mode, if I move the sticks to the extreme left and right, you can see how slowly it spins. If I change mode to P mode, you can see it's a lot more jerky. And if I go to sports mode, uh, the, certainly the turning is the same as uh, P mode. Uh, now we've got the sun out a little bit, let's uh, take it out for a bit of a spin. Is this in sports mode? So it gets up to around eight meters per second. I'll do the old conversions into miles an hour later. 10 meters, 11 meters. 
So it gets up to about 11 meters per second in sports mode when you're flying flat out. Change it to cine smooth mode, very slow turning there. Come back, the maximum speed is slowed right down. It's on three, three and a half meters per second. So in, uh, certainly in cine smooth mode, uh, things are slowed right down, four meters per second. That's as fast as it will go. And then in P mode, that's the normal flying mode, five, six. Okay. Return to home. I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. Okay, we'll get to see how good the uh, precision landing is. Well, I can tell already he is not going to land on the table. He's over here. So the uh, return to home landing was a good metre away from uh, where it actually took off. Uh, landed there, took off from here. Uh, but still, as far as uh, getting it back to you, uh, if you lose signal, uh, that should be good enough. So uh, I have put it through its paces. What's my thoughts? Um, it's a fantastic little bit of kit, no denying it. Uh, the gimbal keeps things uh, super smooth when it's flying around. Um, yeah, it's actually lost a lot of the functionality that the Air and the Mavic, the other Mavics have got. But uh, you have to remember what this is. It's, uh, it's a tiny little drone that had to be under 250 grams for whatever reason they wanted. Um, but end of the day, it takes good pictures, it takes good video, it flies very well. Uh, the app is a scaled down version of the Go 4 app, but it still allows you to fly any way that you want to. There's no intelligent flight modes as far as I can see so far. Uh, so things like uh, Boomerang and uh, Rocket, they're not going to be happening on this. It is literally just a simple little travel drone that will allow you to take good video, good photos. Um, and um, yeah, as long as that's all you want, then you're going to be very happy with it. The build quality seems good, even though it's very lightweight. Like I said, um, everything around it just seems... Uh, flimsy but that does not mean that it's bad it just means that it's lightweight so the propellers the way the propellers spin round the arms the way the motors slightly twist and uh, there's a lot of play as you can see here the the, the legs twist quite a bit uh, as I said earlier the legs have got foam filled inside as well um, everything about it is clearly designed to be incredibly lightweight it's fulfilled its brief in that respect um, whether or not um, I think they actually got the pricing about right. To me, this is half the drone of the Mavic Air and uh, being half the price uh, pretty much uh, seems, seems to be about right, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure it will make a lot of people very, very happy to have it as their first drone. Uh, for me, it will be a great little backup drone. It'll be a great travel drone as well. But um, yeah, my first impressions are surprisingly good. I was worried that it would be too flimsy, too lightweight. But um, yeah, uh, all in all, can't fault it really for what it is for the price and for the uh, the, the size and the weight that it had to be it's uh, it's hit the nail on the head very well so anyway look got a lot more playing around a lot more testing to do over the next uh, uh, few days I've seen a lot of behavior that is different and um, I'd like to check up on some things uh, Ted's going absolutely mad at the moment so on that note I will uh, say until next time have fun happy flying see you soon <laughs>